Salute, I'm back. Here to share more with you with the workout level project. You already seen my Mustang, previous episode. Share more of other hobbies with you. Share another love of mine, which is carpentry. This is something else that I like to do with my hands, just as well as the car work, mechanic work, things of that nature. Body work I'm getting into as well, but back to the carpentry. Show some tools of mine with you guys, since they're in the way. But uh, overall, this is my office. We are gonna look more into that. These are some of the tools that I do work with. It's a basic, uh, it's a cordless drill. See the battery is not here. Battery goes there, no wires. Has a decent angle on it. Give you ideas how to work better. It's a Ryobi brand, popular. I like it. Color could have been better, but it's, it's unit. I really like this color. It's cool. You know, I'd rather this color than an orange. No offense. Another tool, which I enjoy, makes the job faster, but you got to know how to use it. This is the sprayer. Has a decent gun, right? It's pretty cool. It would be funny if it sprayed me, too. That would be awesome. So hopefully we don't get that footage. But it's a nice tool. Here to show you some more of the tools I like to work with. First of all, we got to get into the foundation of how you're going to work. But you got to have the right tool. When you want to work on something hard, your foundation got to be amazing. Got to be Hannibal for King certified. Got to be Hannibalistic. Someone says on my salute, I love you for that. You gotta have a strong scaffold. You gotta be able to stand on this. You gotta be able to flag on this. I will show you, but it's not stable, and I will have to do it a certain angle. We're not getting into that right now. Okay, so the next time I see you, I'll be sharing more with you about the workout level project, sports standards. Salute, Hannibal for King. I'm back with the workout level project, show you more of the sports standards. Right now I'm showing you guys the overhand pull-ups, basic, make sure you lock out. After that we're going to show the underhand. Right now I'm going to show you the overhand pull-ups and get more into the detail of what you benefit from it. First thing you want to get comfortable, make sure the grip right. Always lock out, take your time, breathe, make sure you don't pass out, stop swinging. Okay, so that was the overhand grip, lockout. It's more for your forearm, your outer arm. You understand what I'm saying, your tricep. That's what the overhand is for. We're gonna get into the underhand pull-ups, which is more for the inside of your forearm and your bicep as well. And some chest as well, and some core. A lot of what I do, I like to involve the core, period, all the time. Underhand pull-ups next, though. This is basic for the sports standard. This is the beginner, basic. There's no avoiding this, no getting around it. Pardon me, I was banging. It's just normal for me. Uh, that was the basic underhand. Again, it's for the inside of your, your forearm and your bicep. And again, chest and your core, mid. That's what I like to work on. We can upgrade that into the L sit, overhand or underhand. That's another segment. Salute. 